what was that? Yeah, you just saw the new 2024, not 1290, but 1390 Super Duke R. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what makes this beast the most uncompromising naked bike on the market. The name 1390 already points into the direction that the engine has been revised and it has now 1350 cc and 110 millimeter bore. And listen to that 145 newton meters of torque and 190 horsepower. When I was racing down the straight line, I felt that this bike has a better RPM range in higher gears, for example, in fifth and sixth gear. Somewhere here is an airbox and it also has been redesigned to have a more direct airflow. We all want to be the Brad Binder and Jack Millers on our weekend race trip. And luckily the Super Duke had always a great electronics to make us faster on the track. So the previous version already had a throttle response adjuster, traction control, cornering ABS, launch control and few more. But now the engineer improved the current ones and also added some more. Now you can adjust your engine brake. Also the anti-wheelie mode is not just on and off, but you can also adjust it in five different levels. And beside the adjustable anti-wheelie, you have also a slip adjuster, different ride modes. The beast got even more edgier and sharper with the new LED front light, looks super futuristic and is same as on the 990 Duke. It also has new tank spoilers and also those new winglets. This is now all the manufacturers are adding winglets to the bike. Also KTM did it because of two reasons. First is it adds a bit of stability on high speeds and it complements the whole design. And if I look at it, it has also this nice chrome KTM logo and yeah, it gives it a bit more premium look. Look at this detail. They also restyled the turn signal lights. Redesigned subframe cover and there is no stoplight because it's now integrated into the turn signal lights and the effect of that is a shorter number plate holder. And now a few seconds of little details overview. A redesigned tank cap, USB-C charging port, a keyless lock for the passenger seat, a new redesigned fancy key. The suspension on the R version was also redone. The front forks give you now a more predictable feedback. Now the engineers designed a shock absorber just for the Super Duke with the goal to make the street ride more comfortable. The Super Duke comes with a super sticky, as you can see here, Michelin, Michelin Park GP tires. Okay, let's talk about brakes. The front brake is connected with the Brembo Brake Master, a 320 millimeter front disc that is bitten by the Brembo Stylema monoblock calipers. And this setup is amazing for a high speed down braking and also as a stunt rider for some really nice long stoppies. And on the rear we have a combo of a two piston caliper with a 240 mm disc brake. For more torsional stiffness on the Super Duke, the engine is part of the frame. In fact, three times more stiffer than the 2019 version. And you're probably asking yourself, where does it help me when I'm riding the beast? And it helps you to enter the corner more precise and in general it gives you more stability in the corners itself. When you are designing and producing a new bike, you want to add more power, add some riding assistance for safer and faster riding on the street or the racetrack and you want to cut some weight and KTM did it by increasing the diameter of the tubes on the frame with thinner walls and this bike has actually now 199 kg dry weight and around 212 kg wet. Man what a fun day it has been with the new beast and I freaking love that bike. I hope you like it too even though if you don't let me know in the comments below plus and minus points and yeah Today we raced it on the racetrack a bit, so let me know also what you would like that we do next time. Please also share that video so we can do even more of them. The more views we get, the more videos we can do. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. See you next time. Until then, rock on.